Good afternoon, everybody. Good How afternoon. How are you? Good. Good. Today is a great day. It is the first day of February, which means nobody is allowed to say Happy New Year anymore. As of January 31st, there's a rule out there, which I read last night. I was up late. It says after January 31st, you cannot say Happy New Year. It's over. Okay. Two so, weeks. Two yeah. weeks max. Do, do yeah. we say happy early Valentine's Day now? You could. Uh, speaking of Valentine's Day, next week we have a Valentine's show. We have our love couple, which we picked out of about 25 uh, applications. Ooh, wow. uh, I'm not going to say who they are yet. But they were just notified. So next week at 3 o'clock here at Paradise Studios at Strong Island, we're having a grand opening. We're having the ribbon the cutting, the politicians, the actresses, and the couple. And it's a awesome. great show. We have it every year. We have a Sinatra singer coming. His name is Jim Altamori. He's a doll. And Jim is a member of the Breakfast Club for 16 years. Wow. That's exciting. <clears throat> yeah. And he exciting. sings all over Long Island, does weddings. And I am seeking a couple. I need a single lady and a single man could be young could be old could be middle middle life because i like to have two different types of dating things on the show okay. Okay. so anyone out there the deadline is tomorrow because i've been seeking this couple but it seems like the young are very skeevish to come on and do a dating show so if you know anybody have them email me or call me tonight and uh, if not we're going to go to a middle midlife couple which I got plenty of them. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that is? I don't know. I don't know. Because after a certain age, people don't really care too much. You just go with fun. So tomorrow, again, um, send it to me if you like anybody and know anybody. Uh, the other thing is it is National Freedom Day. Hmm. Nice. It is a reflection on the, all the freedoms in the United States. So what should you do on National Freedom Day? Go to, the, go to a ceremony, go to an art gallery, teach someone about the 13th Amendment. To be honest, right now, I don't know 13th Amendment. Any of you do? No. Uh, I feel sad to say I do not. I, I couldn't, couldn't no. name off the top of my head. So, so these bad. are things, you see, when you get to my age, <laughs> this is what you do when you don't have much to do at night and you can't sleep. You go on the computer. So I found a lot out, you know? And if you want to do something for the National Day, Write a social media post and discuss it. But first, you have to find out what it is. In all your research, you didn't look up what it was? I don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to tell us. I'm going to find out so tonight, do. though. I know. Isn't that funny? Right to vote. Oh, my God. It's a lot. You know, it's a lot of things. But I want to introduce my great, great people today. First, Angela. Angela plays my uh, mean daughter-in-law <laughs> in the Fontanas. And look at this. Reputation. Angela is on this great new show called They Devour. What is that about? <clears throat> that is a true story based on an African billionaire who chooses love over fear. That sounds episodic. great. That's beautiful. Um, yeah, and some episodes will be filmed in Africa. Oh, and, wow. Uh, we'll see. Do you yeah. know where in Africa? Gambia. So the producer, writer, is from Gambia. One of the youngest females out of there to be a producer. Um, and yeah, and we just had our premiere on January 24th. So um, it was great. what do you play? So I play a wife to one billionaire, but I have an affair with the African billionaire. Really? Scandalous. Uh, scandalous. Scandalous. So are you going to Africa? <laughs> we'll see. Wow. We'll see. see, now Angela, she's a SAG af, af, actor. actor. Mm -hmm. actor. Yeah. She's a very hardworking woman. She's bilingual. She always is growing, living, thriving, and she's yeah. sharing the desk today as a co host. Thank you so much, Valentina, for having me here yeah. today and yeah. with these two beautiful guests that you have. Yeah, so that is Angela Parker Crudenza. And Thank we you. have this beautiful other actress here. Natasha Lando, who we've known each other now for a year. She is so scary looking. <laughs> She's a scaring That's me. How I know Natasha. She's scaring me. I posted so many photos of you this Thank past you. week, and everyone like, who is that? I'm like, 
she's some actress, but really you carry that scary thing good. Thank you. It's fun to do. Really fun you to play. You look like you really enjoy it. Well, it got me into trouble in TJ's latest film, Got Eaten. She did. She did. You <laughs> got eating? Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, Natasha. Dear. Oh, my God. Well, we're going to talk more with you. Yeah. And then, of course, the king man here. <laughs> TJ Kiss. What a name. Oh, yes. Thank you. TJ thank Kiss. You. First of all, I used to be TJ, but now I'm VJ. Okay. Well, we, we won't go there. I appreciate the, the differentiation, but I respect, <laughs> we I respect go, going means. by the initials. But I was Valentina when I was young. And mm -hmm. I was Tina when I was young, and now I'm Valentina. But if you just use the initials, it could kind of be a little weird. It could be. It could <laughs> be. <laughs> we won't go there. So, but do people want to kiss you when they meet you? Not as far as I know. Not not often enough, I'll say that. Yeah. But it's such a name, TJ Kiss. Is it that is. your real name? That is my real name. It is a Hungarian last name. Pronounced really? Kish in Hungarian. Well, I think we should all yes. drink to TJ having such a great name sure. and send him a kiss. Cheers. 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 Oh, I And we are already. drinking Cabot Pinot Grigio. Mm. Not bad for somebody who doesn't like it. Actually, my wife drinks that. That's what my wife drinks. Really? It's drinks. pretty yes. good. This is nice. It's yeah, it's very, very nice. Good. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's so. nice and light. So, TJ, you're doing so many things. We originally met from acting. Yes. I think I got you one or two people to be on your set once. Yes, I reached out to you after I first came on about last year. Right. When we first started talking about necromance. And um, you had sent some people to come audition when I was ca recasting for right. Birdie and Jane. Yes. And you have a great salad place, which you say it's not a it's salad not place. It's not just a salad place. You always say that. Yes. I know, because I, I haven't been Cabo there yet. Fresh. Cabo we, Fresh. Mexican. We sell salad, burritos, tacos, mm. quesadillas, all kinds mm. of stuff. And I can't wait to uh, come. I'm in Stony Brook. We have one in Comax. He's like all the Smith hell Island out. Center. All the way the hell out. Yes, we're out 347 there. We're out there. all the way. That's, That's correct. How, I know how to get there because I go to Port Jeff a lot. So we will be coming, me and my God's order. I didn't know that. You threatened so many times. I've been waiting for I know, over because, a year now. You know, when we come, you know, you yeah. got to bring out the mariachi I'll band. I'll hide out of the back door. Yeah, man. exactly. But what do they have to eat there? Everything? Yeah, it's basically like it's basically like Chipotle, only better, obviously. It's oh yeah, I don't like fresh Chipotle. is better. As we and say. you have all these different locations. Yeah, there's they have four. We have four locations. Yes, that's wonderful. So yeah. he's the big boss over there. Yeah, really. I just run the Stony Brook location. Well, that's oh, I the thought big you boss. owned. No, no, I do not own them. Okay. I do not I own say them. The owners are amazing people, though. They're they've been great to me. I've been there five years, and they've been. Very I say you're the big boss there. of everything I do. Well, thank you. I don't I mean you're that. the owner. I'll but have you're to the come big visit. BB. What's up? I have to come visit. Oh, that's what I thought. Yeah, gotta try it. Huh? So Come on by. soon you should make a sandwich named after, named after me, the Valentina. You've never even been here. Get out of here. You <laughs> gotta show up at least now. once before we name a menu item That's after you. Right. That's right. Exactly. But anyway, I look forward to coming okay. now that the spring is coming. I don't drive in snow. All right. That's fine. I respect it. Yeah. So let's talk about this movie called Necromance. Yes. What the hell does it mean? So Necromance is a high school horror comedy. Um, it's based around uh, this girl, Birdie, who's like the it girl at her high school. Oh, so um, she's hot. Yes, yes. Vanessa Randazzo plays her, and she is, yes, she is an attractive young girl. Um, and so Birdie casts a spell to keep her and her boyfriend together forever, right? And then she has a party, she ODs, and Birdie is now no longer with us. But she comes back because they have to be together forever, and she comes back as like a zombie, and then it just goes haywire from there. You're kidding. I am not kidding, no. How long is the film? Uh, it's probably going to be about... Over an hour. I'm hoping probably about an hour, 15 to an hour and oh, 20 minutes. Oh, that's a good one. That's oh, hopefully. That's a big one. Yeah. Ideally, unless I have to cut stuff, which okay. I'm going to try not to, obviously. Yeah, it's not good to cut. If, if it was in your gut that you yes. wanted it there, go with your gut. Yes. Well, everything when I write, that's kind of like I... If it's not something I think I can do, I try not to write it because... If I'm not going to be able to film it. Like, right, because you, know, you know what you need to, to do. Try to write what I'm going to be able to right. do. Um, so that's what we're trying to do right now. And I'm Birdie's very lucky script Natasha's is a lot of fun. So Thank how you. did you, you come up with Birdie the name? I mean, how did that uh, So Birdie, actually, I did not come up with the name. So the story of Necromance begins two years ago um, when the original, well, my co-writer on the feature, Sean, sent me a short film called Necromance, oh. which featured Birdie and Ray and many of the similar characters. Um, and we made an original proof of concept from that. Oh, um, from there, I asked him if I could sort of take his baby and raise it. So I took this little 20-page short film and I made it into the feature that it is today. And I sent him 
what I had. And then he gave me back some notes that he wanted to make sure we worked on together. And then we came up with the finished product and now we're pushing forward trying to make it. And where did the inspiration come from? Um, For him, I don't know. He just just sent me it. Uh, Well, you know, Sean is a retired high school teacher. So oh, okay. that probably is where the biggest inspiration came from. I didn't connect that in my head. Sorry, Sean. Um, <laughs> but that's probably where it came from, from him. And that's actually some of the stuff that he's been most noted on in, in, in some of my writings has been like, well, in high school, you know, they say this, now they say that now. Because I'm thinking 20 years ago, like, you know, mm. I had books. Like, now they have laptops and stuff. Out. Well, like, that's not what true. We had that's so true. different now. Well, I'm curious if some of the characters of the teachers are teachers he actually experienced there. Like the nurse mm. and the gym teacher and everybody. I, I would bet that true. Donna's character, Mrs. Hansen, who's a mean teacher, oh, uh, she probably is somebody that he either worked with or knew. That would be my guess. But, yeah, I wonder. I'm going to ask him. That's interesting. Okay. So now, what do you play in it? A zombie? Uh, I'm a nurse. Oh, no, you're a nurse. I'm, see, I'm the one that gets eaten. I see. I actually, I don't know if I'm the scary one because I always get killed in all the movies. It's true. So, yeah. It, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I always get into trouble somehow. That seems to be my nature. So in this one, I am Nurse Smith. Nurse uh, Smith it sounds like a really mean. No, I I am the one who has no interest in nursing. I have more interest in the male teachers. And I, <laughs> look at you there. <laughs> that I used to be really... part of my neck. <laughs> Before the zombie, Vanessa ate, ate that, well, fake oh, piece So of she milk. eats your neck in the movie? Yes, yes, she does. because She I throws just... it to the floor and then crushes her head. And oh, yeah, it's, it's very brains. graphic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and we had to do a whole bunch of takes of that head crushing yes. because that, that head just wouldn't crush. Yes, <laughs> secret, it was a melon, and does all the that melon did not crush. Stuff kind of... You know, the brains, because that's Come what out? that's what the zombie likes to eat, Birdie slash Vanessa, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's actually amazing how much goes into all the special effects, how much prep work. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and TJ is a man with a lot of attention to detail. So he looks at, is the blood the right color? color? Is it the right color of red? Is it the right consistency? So we had a whole conversation around there. Oh, that's really good blood. That's yeah, like, that's the best blood i makeup seen. lady? That's uh, Jen, Jen Feldy did the makeup on that, and she's doing a lot of the oh, makeup man. and helping the effects on this. Um, oh, Emma. 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 Yes, I'm sorry. I never know what to call her, Jen she Feldy, Jen Lee Feldy, Elman. Oh, she did she's the greatest. Show. She was on two weeks ago. Yeah, she did my she's makeup for uh, great. The... Does she do regular makeup? Because it looks like I'm pale today. Oh yes, she does. She does. Do I look pale today? No, no. Well, it does look, look good. good. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I didn't know she does makeup too. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. she's a great makeup artist. Mm, yeah, she's really good. A lot of fun, that girl. Really, mm-hmm. I like her a lot. It's funny the different personalities when you get into this acting world. Yeah. You know, you just meet such different people. And yes, they have personalities that can change. Like you played other things, not just horror. Yes, I played some very serious roles as well. And uh, I played, uh, there was an episodic a couple of weeks ago and it was very serious and procedural. It was a crime drama episodic. I was a forensic investigator. Although again, dealing with dead bodies. You know, I'm seeing a pattern here, (laughs) actually. That's true. Whether it's comedy or drama, for some reason, dead bodies seem to follow me. But then you go and sell cars. You know, oh, they true. were in a commercial selling gorgeous cars. And, you know, well, luckily and... nobody died for the commercial. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. That is okay, really unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, really. Absolutely. So what about you? Do you act? Uh, I've acted in my things. Like uh, what? Uh, well, I was in Renters in a cameo uh, role. Where, I love yeah, Renters. That was and, great. And um, in a couple of my shorts. And my first original two shorts, I was one of the actors because... That was the first ones I'm doing. Who else is going to go in it? Yeah. Um, and then I was in one of my Scary Monster shorts. Um, and I'm going to be in Necromance as well in another little Third cameo one. role. Okay. Yes. Well, yes. Renters, I just love that, that movie. And movie. Donna Morales, she's just like amazing. In she that. is. Donna I love is, her. Donna that is thing amazing. with the patchet. Yeah. <laughs> She's yes. scary. Yes, she is. She plays scary she really, be really tough. well. Yeah. And she's she the does. nicest lady in the world, you know? She has this monologue in that where at the dinner table where she explains like why they don't like renters and I'm like She you really absolutely can like hop. every yeah. every time I've seen that in front of a crowd, like it's you can hear a pin drop during that whole scene. I'm like, Donna, you really you really know how to kill it. Yeah. Un- really <laughs> unbelievable. No pun intended. Pun intended. <laughs> Thank you for picking it up. Nobody said anything for a second. I'm like so Tough room. Before we go further, want to see the movie a little bit, all right? Is that oh, okay with you? Of course. Okay. Angela, what do you yeah, think? Yeah, absolutely. Let's all right, so it. let's show the movie for a minute, and then we'll come back let's and chat. Video we'll tape. have more to talk about. Do I do the promo or the final? The, the final. Sure, final. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. You sure? Yeah, and then we're going to, well, I'm going to talk about Seaton's Park anyway. Yeah, okay.
Are you gonna at least throw that one out? Birdie, this thing's a piece of shit. Who cares? So, how are you feeling? I, I feel great. I really do. Good. Did you learn the spell? Mm-hmm. With the power of Malak and the guidance of Beezlebub, may the evil within remain dormant. Great. It's not as catchy as I thought spells would be. Okay, so aside from Izzy, the nurse is the only other one you think suspected something? Tinkerson? No, Tinkerson will be fine. Nurse Smith knows something's up. A little scare is all I need to keep her quiet. You sure this is a good idea? Jane, I got this. How did you get her address anyway? I'm a witch. I have a computer, a name, and access to the internet. Haha. Ha. I'll be right back. Okay. for being so helpful. Can I come in? I suppose, sure. She closed the door. So, Bertie, how are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. Did you get that arm looked at? Yep, all good. You know, Bertie, I couldn't find a pulse, and that wound looked like nothing I'd ever seen before. Seen a lot of wounds as a shitty high school nurse. Have you? Excuse me? No, excuse me. What do you think you know? Do I make myself clear? Will you speak to us? Yes. Good. So I'll see you in school then? Uh, uh, Bertie, I, I, I still think I should call your mother. I told you, she's not my mother! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stop. I get the picture. So, why didn't you say the spell inside your head? I did! I, I had it under control. She triggered me on purpose by mentioning Isabella. Well, school should be easy. Nobody says mean things there. This is gonna be a problem. You need to say the spell. Over and over. Force yourself. Especially when you're feeling the anger build. With the power of Malak and the guidance of Beez above, may the evil within remain dormant. With the power of Malak and the guidance of Beez above, may the evil within remain dormant. Guys, great job! Wow, great job by Vanessa. Excellent well, work, Vanessa, yeah, Natasha, really and Vanessa. Really, really it was good. fun. It was a lot of fun. I it was. Like you really enjoyed it. It was a lot of now, fun. Now the voice. She was supposed to be the devil, right? So zombie. She's a zombie monster type. You know what I mean? So in the scene prior to this, which we're going to get a little bit of secret stuff from the film here. Um, Jane explains to Birdie that she has to kind of control this thing inside of her that's coming out and she's able to do it 
like right in front of her. So that's what that is. That's her mm -hmm. trying to control it in and out. And then when it gets to the point when she says your mother, even though it's her stepmother and she's made that clear to her before, um, she can't control it anymore. And that's why it comes out and then she just attacks her. Jeez. Just poke the bear a few too many poke times. Poke the bear too many yeah. times. She kept her mouth shut, you know? Yeah. Now, how many it's times did Story it, of my life. How many takes <laughs> did that particular scene take? Um, I think we only did three takes on the blood squirt. And we really only had to do that because the first one, the blood was too thick. So I it just, like, that. pattered out. Like, it did not And then you out. have to wash up after every take? Well, well, what happened was the second squirt was too much. Yes. And the entire... TJ's entire kitchen was covered. covered in blood. Yeah. Thank you. Did your wife know? Yes, that? thank you. Your wife? After we left, I appreciate your it. Your wife lets you do that in her kitchen. She did. Yes. Yes, she did. Well, TJ made very, sure it was I'm very, very lucky. Gotta love those spouses. She's amazing. Yes. yes. She deserves a medal. She, What'd I'm, you buy her for that? Whatever she picked out. <laughs> Good answer. She took care of it herself, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that's, that's wonderful great. really that's good you have a that's she's great. behind you which yes half yes, the problem half the half of the world you got to have your partner behind you if you're doing something as important as this mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. you know and i know your husband is always behind you yes, he's right yes, there he is. yes right he to is. your right right by my side yes he that's is awesome. and angela's too yes he is yeah Very what's lucky. me 100 percent. we are blessed yeah and mm -hmm. that's what it Absolutely. takes because it takes a lot of time effort Yes. And silly, silly things and serious things, mm -hmm. you know. Of course. And time. Time And is driving. Uh, insane. Driving, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't, you got a, you got a spot where you're going to do a shoot and you're like, where am I, what am I walking into? Right. Once I did something uh, that was, I thought was weird. I was being a, um, like, a, an opinion person at something. Mm -hmm. And um, they said where to go. And it was in, um. No, on you know over in the north uh, by Macy's you know up there by the hospital and there was a little driveway and then you had to go up this tiny little driveway and there was a staircase cement down and I'm like what am I doing I don't know should I be doing this and I feel like I'm going into a clinic for like abortions or something you know <laughs> it was scary it was like a movie okay oh, and once I got in there I saw all these other people sitting there I felt better but when you really don't know, kind of, you know, you have to have a lot of guts to, you know, big balls. <laughs> <laughs> so I did it. And actually, because I guts. did a good job, they called me all the time and you get paid. Oh, you get you paid to give your opinion and they give you lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Life's pretty good. <laughs> so you should, people should look out there. They're called research places. There's one right in Syosset. Mm -hmm. There's one in Manhasset. Mm -hmm. And... You just fill out an application, and then they call you and ask you 50 questions, and if you answered five of them right, you get called. They overbook, so if you're the lucky one and you get there early, they have a, um, a raffle, you get to go home and get paid. It's like jury duty, right? Yeah. That sounds like a really It's fun, cool and racket. it's nice because if you're home and you, you have the time. So, but the first time I did it, I got scared. Of course, my sister's like, well, where are you going? I'm like, come. She goes, no. <laughs> no, you're on your own for this one. I was just going to say, yeah. <laughs> so you just never know what you're going to step into, especially in this environment. Right. So, Angela, give me a story about, like, you do so much. I mean, you played the doctor on that General soap Hospital. opera. Yes. That's amazing. <clears throat> How you. was that? I mean, were you just... It was amazing. A nut job that really, day or no? You were just calm and saying, oh, calm. just do it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I did the work. I was very well prepared. Rehe I rehearsed with the, you know, my scene partners. And uh, it was great. It was very quick, though. You know, when you do soap operas, it's 45 minutes. You're yeah, you're like, in and out. On the in plane, out, home. You, yeah, you've got to really know and you've got to be prepared. And, and you hope they'll call you yeah. back, right? Yeah. You never know. Right? Well, it's in your history. Yeah. So with fun. all of these things that you do and you do and you do, do you keep like a file of every acting spot in a box or something? What do you do? Well, I do, yeah. I have a folder with, with you know, all the my The video and everything? And I have the video, yep. And you do the same thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah same thing. Yeah. Oh. And that's what, where you get your money. Your money. That's where you get your money, but it's not <laughs> much money. But where you get your reels from, all these things? Yeah. 
Um, oh, those projects, and also um, I created a reel last year with mm -hmm. TJ, yeah. where I just wrote seven scenes, and I had friends from the Actors Workshop, uh, which is in Levittown, with Chris Cardona. Yeah, I and, love him. Yeah, and uh, you know, Matt from It's Love Bro was one oh, of the actors. Love him. Well, I'm yes. sure there are a lot of actors that mm -hmm. you know that did it with me, and right. TJ spent a, a day planning it out with me oh. and shooting the whole thing, and yeah, he was a one-man shop. The wow. lighting, the that's sound, right. the that's, filmmaking, that's everything. Great. Terrific. Yeah. yeah. And we got a great, we did a great job. I think it came out really good. Yeah. And it was all different types of roles. So then as, you know, different projects go into post-production, because you don't always know what you'll get either. Right. You know, maybe you had this great speech and like half of the time the focus was on the other actor. Right. So when you create yourself, you have a lot of control there. That's interesting. So you could actually have somebody, you could hire someone to do your reel. Yep. Basically mm -hmm. is what you're saying. Yeah. yeah See, yeah. I learned everything though. Hard way because I'm not as experienced as you guys, you know. Well, I I got all of it from just doing it myself. Yeah. Right. Well, sometimes I have little, you know, in my past I always had little slaves that helped me. So <laughs> so now I don't have that. You know, I had a big job, so now I have to do everything alone, and right. you can't. That's a lot. So you learn who you can trust and who you can't. Mm -hmm. You know. So, but um, another thing I'm learning today because. And I mean, I tortured Jerry. He did me a, Jerry Ferretti did me a beautiful reel, but I can't find it. <laughs> sent it on Somewhere. that silly thing. What's it called? We, we transfer. transfer. We transfer. It probably expired. Oh, I don't if know. you didn't download it. I don't know. Yeah. I probably didn't. But anyway, Jerry Ferretti is going to be starting a podcast. Yes. yes. I saw I that. I saw that. So <clears throat> I'm very happy for him. And he's coming Wednesday yeah. for a little time, a little bit, because he has a, a Wednesday stint. Wednesday or Thursday? I mean Thursday. Thursday. Okay. Um, Thursday. But he is busy already with his band. <laughs> I saw. I, know. I don't know how he's doing all he's this. He's already booked. Yeah. Whole spring. That man summer. keeps busy. Yes. He he's does. a hustler. Yeah, you he gotta is. be. Gotta be. So now exactly. how do people contact you just about when they could see the movie or how to watch the movie? And so we are just starting production. So we're actually our first day of any filming for the real feature film is this Sunday coming up. We're gonna be filming the first mm. scenes. Well, you're not in those, so no, you're not coming. But, um, but right now we're also doing a crowdfund on Seed and Spark. Um, we're looking for help to get better locations. I mean, there's a high school horror comedy, so I'm looking for a school or a school setting, which I'm not getting for free. Um, uh, so we started a crowdfund yesterday, and luckily, I mean, we already, after 24 hours, are already at 20% to our goal. Um, so we're off to a really, really great start. Um, thank you for letting me come on here. Well, how do um, people go to the crowdfund? Is so, there a... Seed and Spark, and then you can just search Necromance, and that will be the name of the film. Or you can go to the two Instagram accounts, one KIGB Productions or Necromance 2024. The link is in both of the bios. And if you start following either one of those, you'll be inundated with stories begging you to go do that. Okay. And um, are you speaking and you're talking in those videos about the production? And getting the money, or are you? Is there? A oh yeah, there is a there's a pitch video up there where you'll. I'm gonna go over. Um, you'll see everything that we're up to so far with the film, and I'm gonna oh, okay. bring you along for the ride. You know, we have an amazing, amazing cast, and not even just Natasha, but so many She's of the people from one. this great, <laughs> no, this Vanessa's great Long one. Island film community. Vanessa, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, we have um, a band from Long Island, Platinum Moon, that is providing me with all the music for the soundtrack. Uh, in addition to Jen Feldy. My friend Steve Lewis, um, who does a lot of work with trauma, is going to help us work on the kills in the movie to make them as bloody and gory and fun as possible. Um, and it's really the the people that are working with me on this. I I can't thank you guys all enough, and I'm amazed every day because everybody is so talented. I I'm amazed Looks that they're all that working way. with me. I mean, I've been doing this for four years, and the fact that I'm working with all these people and everybody is so energetic and excited Jeez, about it, 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 it makes me just continue to like, I can't ever stop. Like, I need to keep going. And right. we've got to make mm. a really great movie. Um, and I just know it, but it's not because of me, it's because of people like Natasha Well, we are and also else. very lucky to work with TJ. Oh, I mean, awesome. we've worked in a few projects together and he calls us all his film family, which I think That's is just a nice. great way to, yes. Look, yes. to look at it. But TJ has vision and creativity and attention to detail, and it's really a pleasure to work with you. And how did oh, you two you. connect? Um, really, it's, I think it was on Facebook. It so was on Facebook. She, I worked were with, with actors the... Alex McKay and Jen. Mm -hmm. And she was friends with them. I think I saw you at the play Alex did, but yes. I just saw you. I didn't actually get the chance to say hello to you. And then I wanted to make this short that I had written called Sawed, 
and I messaged Natasha about playing the wife, and she jumped at the chance. And so what is it? Soaring time. her head off? It's like a parody of the Saw films. <laughs> yes. I didn't yes. kill anyone. and did not get killed in this one. But if looks could kill, oh yeah. The way I looked at my husband <laughs> at the movie, he looks. was dead. Oh, now, yeah. do you do that to your husband when he doesn't do the right thing? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> there was there was, there was He's no. He's probably acting. watching there read, somewhere. Saying she just looked up old text messages that made her mad, and that's how she got the face for when we took the shot. Well, well, the premise of the movie was when the husband didn't do what I had asked him to do and neither did he remember what I asked him to do so you know every wife is familiar with one or two of those situations yeah, that's during her marriage true. well your husband is such a gentleman <laughs> yes every he is. time I see him he is just such a gentleman and good looking too oh yeah. well, thank you yeah he is really he's a very <laughs> I agree. nice guy same as uh, Angela's husband too you both have oh, great looking men thank really you. really and your <laughs> wife she was a sweetheart on the show last time she came yes yes and so she had a birthday she did. Happy yeah. birthday. It was, it was, what, about two weeks ago? No, in October. Oh, why did I think? I don't See, know, the that's months okay. are flying, I swear. You my had a baby? Had a... Yes. My son turned one. My second son turned one. Yeah, but a the new baby. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Time for New baby. What's his Bobby. name? Bobby. Bobby. Yeah. I like that Aww. name. Named after my father-in-law, who we lost a few years ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do you guys think of this beautiful studio? Oh, this place is amazing. Isn't this amazing? Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Yeah. I, Everybody, you have to stop down and see Bobby Lacerra. This place is amazing. Every Friday night, there is a party, and it's only $15 if you stay, and there's karaoke and fun. You network. It's so much fun. Bobby and Michelle Asta are here every Friday. I came last Friday. We didn't leave till midnight. It was so much fun. <laughs> and Patrick came with me, and he enjoyed it. Oh, that's great. We had a few drinks. You know, it was, <laughs> it was nice. Met some people that I knew from Floral Park who I didn't know were connecting here. And uh, it was really fun. So if you need something different to do, guys, come here. And you can also rent space all different types of ways by speaking to Michelle and Bobby. So I'm thrilled to be here. And uh, right, I love my coloring. Yeah. Try, mm -hmm. You know, this is turquoise, my new color. <laughs> so um, it's really nice. I want to thank Susan for our new on-air sign. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Susan. Thank love you, it. Susan. She'll be back next week. She'll be here for the grand opening. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun, and hopefully uh, a lot of people will come. I um, invited the whole Massapequa Chamber of Commerce. Okay. Oh, it'll be fun. Yeah, wow. and so there'll be, be a lot party. of networking going on. Yeah, but you have to be approved. So I'm like, well, I have the date already. Well, you have to be approved first. I said, oh, all right. I said, well, mark the date just in case. <laughs> but, you know, like there you go. when you join these, like, very fancy kind of places, you have to, it has, you have to be ruled. So, uh, my breakfast club, I don't have rules. No. But I. <laughs> we have learned that, yes. <laughs> I like it that way. You know what I mean? Because then I could do it the way I want to do it, and people can do what they want. Mm -hmm. You know, like if there you, you came in tomorrow and said, Valentina, I want to bring a dancing girl and dance on the table tomorrow. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I would say yes, because this is not, this is, we do what the client wants. And really, have I ever done, not done what you wanted? This, this is only the second time I've been on here, so. <laughs> so far, no. Okay. So, you know, that's really what we stand for here. The client first, and Bobby Lacerra is, uh, just seems to be very open to all kinds of things, so. He's great. We're really happy to be here, so thanks, Bobby. And I love the way it looks. You like our table? I do. Yes. Not it too much great. stuff. No. And of course, my books are sitting there, you know. Of because course. that's gonna be a movie one day. Either one. So maybe that's one of those things you might work on. Eventually, <laughs> so uh, well, then all of a sudden the zombie will appear in one of those. Well, right. another story turn, yes. might change a little bit. I don't know if I guess it could be in a horror movie, but I couldn't do all that blood. I could be mean. You know. uh, okay, I believe yeah. that. Yeah, she yeah. could be mean. I could be mean. I'll attest to that. But I could okay. also, I could also <laughs> take lessons from Natasha, who's so good at everything. Oh, thank so you. Natasha, right. tell me, how did you, or tell us, how did you get into this acting? Did you, is it something you always did? It was something I always wanted to do. Mm. And I did some musical theater in high school. And then after college, I studied at Stella Adler. But it was just, you know, it was a passion. It was something I did in the evenings. And I think I, I never thought it was going to be something that I would pursue. I had a stable job, a career in something totally different in finance. Got married, had kids, moved out to the suburbs, you know, hadn't taken an acting class in like a decade. Um, and then three years ago, my company was sold and mm -hmm. I was able to take some time off. 
And I said, I'm going to take six months off between jobs and I want to go back to acting classes. And uh, my, my husband said, well, it was right after the pandemic. He's like, don't go back into the city. Why don't you look for something on Long Island? And I found Chris Cardona's uh, The Actors Workshop. Mm-hmm. And I thought it was really interesting that he was a working actor. Uh, and I thought, I really want to learn from somebody that's done it, that has actually built this career. And I, again, just thinking, I just want to take classes for myself. And I stepped foot in his class and it just felt like home. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I knew, and I just, I said to Chris right after class, I said, I don't think I realized this until I stepped foot in here, but I want to do this. I yeah. really want to do this. Please teach me how. And I mean, there were, I knew nothing about this business at all. So Chris was the one that really taught me anything, even like the casting websites, or he helped me create my stage name because this isn't my real last name. Um, and just, uh, just everything. Like he taught me all the ropes. Well, so I've I'm heard, very grateful I've heard to a him. lot of great things about him. I'm trying to get him on the show. He's a busy, busy guy. Yes, but, he is. Uh, he yeah. lives, his studio is around the corner from where my niece lives. So. Right well, around the teaches, corner from my house. He teaches a lot. Get out. Yeah, so oh, I was going right to I was gonna say, I, I have yeah. to give a shout out to Chris because that's, that was the first place where I called to find like real actors. Like mm. I had been just like my friends. Like, hey, do you want to be in this? Do you want to be in this? Ah. And when I wanted to make uh, my Scary Monsters shorts, there was four little shorts that I made. I would drive to work every day and I would sit at a red light making a left onto Wanto Avenue, thinking in my head like, where am I going to find actors? Where am I going to find actors? And one day I'm looking and I see the actor's workshop. And I'm like, there's an acting. It's right, yeah, right, and it's right there. next to a bakery. And all these days I've sat there not looking at it. So then I sent an email. He told me to call him. We spoke and then... That's when I cast uh, Alex McKay and Matt, Matt, Matt Ventre in, in that, and then it went on from there. Well, that's funny, because I used to look at that, too, because I used to babysit for my niece's baby. I used to go at 6 o'clock in the morning, get to the bagel place on the corner, and then pass there on the way, and I got to go meet that guy. And then my nephew took lessons from him. Nicholas, oh. you probably met him somewhere along the line. So it's time that we definitely meet, so I'm going to do that uh, very soon. But Levittown is nice. My my niece loved it. My daughter hated Levittown. Hated it. She couldn't wait to get out. Oh, it's nice. We like it. Yeah, yeah but yeah. my niece wants to go back. She sold her house, and now she wants to go back because she doesn't like Floral Park. Okay. Now, Floral Park is a great place to live, but who knows? Not for everybody, I guess. No, everybody yeah. has different, you know, things they like. Me, I'm very happy. I live in a senior citizen development <laughs> now. <laughs> I'm the youngest <laughs> one there. Oh. So I feel like as strong as a house. Uh, yeah, so are you where the party's at then? Mm-hmm. That's no, I don't go. Because <laughs> they're kind of nosy. And oh. They want to know too much. And they watch for the, the way you park your car. And, oh, boy. You know, but they don't bother me. But again, you know, it's like turns into one question turns into an hour. See, and think, if you ever let, if you ever let one citizens. of them. Yeah, there is. If you ever <laughs> let one of them in your door, they get it. Don't let them go home. <laughs> so, yeah, I got in trouble a few times. You know, you're not allowed to go in the one way. Oh, so many rules. Yeah. You're not allowed to go. I mean, yeah. that's not a crazy I know, rule. But I but do one way. <laughs> I planted basil. You're not allowed. It grows too high. Yeah. So they blackballed me for that. You know, I need you know, a few other funny just things. Breaking all sorts. <laughs> you just know the rules, left. but don't She's, care, right? It's okay. My, my co-host Greg used to visit me once in a blue moon with his motorcycle. And park it in the non-parking. Oh, that must have made oh. everybody happy. So when I first moved in, I was like the rebel. Like, wow. But that now Valentina's got some yeah. hottie going on. That's over. right, she does. <laughs> but now it's it's better. So, but yeah, I love to live there. Um, but I never thought I would. But think about it: if you're my age, which is you know up there, and you have this big house, and you have to cook and clean and do the lawn, and and you're a widow, why do you need it? Correct. So the day that I finally unloaded everything and went there was the best day of my future. And then I met Patrick. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> there you go, so that Patrick. You go. Yeah. Patrick, we're missing you here today. Yeah, he'll be back. She's mentioned you a lot. Yes, yes. he's a doll. You all know him. Yes. He's my mystery man. <laughs> <laughs> Not that much of a mystery. We all know. <laughs> yes, but you we're know. in the VIP club. Oh, that's yeah. true. That's, that's true. That's true. Not very many people do know. So no, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, what's your favorite restaurant? 
Oh, I don't know. That's a hard one. Yeah. Oh, no. I know what my favorite restaurant is. Prime in Huntington. Oh. Yes. Oh, my, Jericho Turnpike. Uh, so my husband and I have gone there for, like, every anniversary. Every time, like, should we try something else? And nothing compares. So we just go back there all the time. Very nice. Well, there's That's a great. new restaurant. I went the other day, and it's great. It's called Munro's. It's in Westbury. They have a great brunch. And I'm going to actually, he's going to be coming on the show. Nice. And they have a breakfast menu for kids that's $10, which in a really nice restaurant, that's kind cheap. Of that's cuisine not bad at all, that's yeah. Very well, cheap. he has all kinds of cuisine, Italian and continental. But the brunch on Sunday is cheap. Usually $10. the brunch is you can't get your kids breakfast for 10 bucks. No, no. So you, and it's family, you know, friendly. And it's, he's got Marilyn Monroe pictures all over the wall. Oh, it's cool. a very cool. nice place so if you do go make sure you tell the owner you heard about the it the sent me. yeah so i recommend everybody go we're going sunday because sunday is patrick's birthday oh happy birthday happy patrick, birthday, patrick. So, happy birthday patrick yes and today is my niece's birthday little gianna she's a beauty happy and birthday little gianna she is birthday, uh, gianna. gonna be a uh, definitely in the movies because she's so cute. Oh, I thought you were going to say because she's a drama queen or something. Like she that. is. Okay, there you go. They're all drama queens, all my nieces. There you go. What are you trying to say about us, TJ? <laughs> Nothing. Are you talking about the women in, in, uh, I think I in film? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have coming up next? Are you doing anything? Is there anything coming up? Um, I have to wrap on the Nutcracker. That uh, It's a film that I'm in. Is that the one with Parisi? No, another one. Parisi, Jerry no. Parisi's in it. Ebenezer. Uh... Yeah, no, no, oh. no. This is <clears throat> this is something else. So I have to wrap on that. And I have a movie coming out, Devastation: End of Life, which we started years ago. That's hopefully coming out, but we just need to redo a couple of things with oh, that. So and... when that happens, let us know. Oh, absolutely. Um, yeah, auditioning. I'm starting and you know I'm taking classes. Yeah. Good. That's great. Staying on top of it. Very good. I say read a script, eat, sleep, repeat every day. She taught me I have how a to script in my to, hand every day. Not eat and sleep. I know how to do that. But she taught me how to repeat and repeat because I repeat. was really bad when I first started. But you did great. <laughs> it's it's that muscle. Mm -hmm. You know, you just have to work that muscle in your brain. And the mm. more you do, that's why I stay active every day. Because mm -hmm. I just, I get a script in my hand and I just study it and learn so it. So we're and, thinking about hosting another um, series of the show, you know, like we did in September and October. Okay. Out in Suffolk County. Oh, beautiful. Because nice. nobody from Suffolk County well, that's came true. in, right. you know. Yeah, so we have a contact out there. I'm talking to Jerry about trying to do it again. Oh, that's I great. Because I, I couldn't it go going. to the Nassau one. You know, I it's hard. You, if you don't do it a lot, it's hard to keep that momentum exactly. going. Exactly. But Jerry's in touch with a lot of good people. Uh, went to Florida, made some special people. I don't know who good. they are. So uh, excited about that, you know. Good. And... Um, I, I actually tested, texted him before on the way here, and he goes, you're not clear. I have a way of, I think you know what I mean. So when I text you. Me? Oh. No, oh, anybody. Okay. All right. You know, when Just I now you proved that that's not yeah. the case. She has, not her own way. <laughs> she has her own way of texting. Yes, you know, and you know. Jerry was getting annoyed it's this morning. He said, you are not food. clear, call me. <laughs> 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 so, Jerry, I'm sorry. I'm calling you after the show. But um, I guess we all have these little things. Maybe it's because of my age. I don't know. Well, but you could audio record You're also multitasking. But you got to know yeah. how to do it. You know? You're doing a lot. You're doing a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I think, you know, you're just trying to juggle. So, you're like last night, all... right? She yeah. called me for five hours and I didn't answer the phone. I had it on silent. Answer. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm coming tomorrow. And then she texts me. She goes, are you coming tomorrow? Uh -huh. Scroll up. <laughs> I'm like, she I said that. Told I you bet. Yeah. You look at my message. She did say scroll up. But I understand. You were yeah. probably sleeping. You didn't read I, was. I, I sent you like 10 texts. The woman needs to rest sometimes. sometimes. She does. <laughs> yeah, you just said she's multitasking. Yeah, yeah. you're a lot of hats. Right I know. Angela. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry, Melanie. <laughs> a lot of hats. Well, you know, you wear a lot of hats too. So yeah, we all you. juggle. Yes, we do. You have to, you yeah. know. But I think we I should all go visit TJ at, what's the name of it? TJ, where are Cabo Fresh. Cabo Mexican. Fresh in Cabo what Fresh. Stony Brook is my location. Cabo also, Fresh. Smithtown Center Reach and Coleman. And if anybody wants to pick a day, we'll all go on the same day. I'm willing to watch you. Yes, let me know. I'll request off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, TJ, do you have anything besides salad? No. Only, yes, yes, yes. 
god. No, what about there, fancy some... drinks? No alcohol, right? We have margaritas. Oh, oh now we're, all right, so we're, we're coming tomorrow then, right? Yeah, That's there. it. Then yeah. we have to go. I'm there. Oh, that is funny. There That's you go. Funny. Now it's happening. Now that we actually show up now. Oh. I got to lead with that next time. Yeah. Do you make Where do you work? We serve margaritas. I'll be there. <laughs> do you make the margaritas though, like Cosmos or just the No, just margaritas. Cosmos are my favorite drink. Well, I'm, we don't have any of that stuff. We don't have a bar. We margaritas. just got a bottle of tequila and we make our own margarita yeah, mix and then we put it together. Awesome. I'll, I think you should bring the ingredients for a Cosmo because... I have a bottle. Frank Vitale bought me a She's bottle. got big bags. She can take care of it. Yeah. Frank <laughs> brought me a big bottle of Cosmo drink. You just pour it in the glass. There you go. Well, there you go. Yeah, he's such a good guy. Put it in your tumbler and walk Another, around with Yeah, it. it's actually in a tumbler. It's pretty nice. People think Valentina's is keeping herself really hydrated. Like, no, <laughs> she is not. It's going to be the most fun Cabo Fresh ever had. That's true. Uh, this is true. Actually, <laughs> I, I can bring the press with me. Oh, if you boy. Want. It will never be. Now the you're going to get me in trouble. Yeah, you're not allowed, never. right? Without toilet Why? Toilet well, I don't own the place. No, but you need permission to have the press in your store. Right? I am not going to comment on any <laughs> press and Cabo Fresh related things <laughs> at all. They see that, they're going to say, get rid <laughs> <laughs> She's <laughs> trouble. <laughs> Anybody need press? Anybody need marketing press? Call me. I have a little uh, office it's called ValentinaJanik.com. Do all kinds of things for people. Less is more. Half the price of most PR agents. My new thing is PR in your pocket. That's not bad. You like it? I do. That's and that's what good. this show is. PR in your pocket. Huh? You get to keep it forever and share it every day. Imagine. I know. I'll true. Guess how many women are going to be calling you because you got that nice hairdo. <laughs> 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 All right. I am in trouble now. Thank you. Yeah, your wife knows. <laughs> it. She, your wife knows that I'm teasing. Really. But well, I won't answer. Okay. We'll she's, put it that your way. wife is a doll. She's, she is. She's a sweetheart. She is. She's There's amazing. no jealousy in people, women's women. She's a woman's woman like these two. Okay. Do you know what a woman's woman is? I'm a man, so I don't think I know what a woman is, let alone a woman's woman. <laughs> Natasha, you know. I can see Tisha trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay, Natasha. Women who support women. Got it. Yeah. So, yes, she is. Yes. 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 So, yes. But also, TJ does it right. He does a casting call later that evening <laughs> takes her on a date. Correct. Yeah. Yes. yes. Which is good. Yes. You know all your... You've got to give and take. Yes. Uh, yes. It's always a juggle. This is true. Now, flowers, candy, that also helps, too. Yes, it does. It yeah, does. Definitely. But that's and... not as uh, personal. No, but also watching the babies so she can go out and have a few laughs. Oh, yes. Well, that's like I usually don't work on Sunday. So even though I'm filming this Sunday, it's different. But when I'm not, Sunday she goes. That's good. Go gets her nails done. Probably go goes to the mall. It. No, she goes to the library. She'll go oh. get coffee. Library she likes to read. That's so nice. But I always, and then she comes home and goes back. I'm like, why do you keep coming home? I'm like, you should go for like oh, five hours. You're here all advice? week with these kids. Go read at Starbucks for like an hour and a half. How nice are you? I try to be. You that's are, really. really. What, what is the nationality of really you? Um, Hungarian Irish. Oh, Irish. That's what it is. That's the, the Irish. Irish. It's the Irish. The Irish. It's the that's, Irish. I got to tell you, I mean, I only know this for the last three years, so. Okay. Because I'm dating an Irishman. And I'm just in shock. Yeah, really. <laughs> Irishmen are very, very nice. We are. Yeah. Very, Very nice. good. So also, guys, there's a new bagel store in town, Calvert Bagels. It's down the block. Got to go. Tell them that you saw it on the show, Hicksville Road. They have the most delicious uh, cranberry sandwich on whole wheat bread. That, that sounds good. Healthy. That sounds really good. It's very nice. The guy's Joe, of course. He's Italian. So we got along right from the beginning. <laughs> and uh, he's like six minutes away. So I go there on the way to the show now, and there's a pizzeria right next door, too. He made a sandwich for me. How nice. Yes. Did it's he make called, you a Cosmo? You're really getting no. to know the it's area. It's called the Valentina. Oh. The oh. <laughs> yep, he did. So I said to him, now you have to come on the show. He goes, I have no time. I'm a busy man. But so people around here are very nice. I'm only here, you know, three weeks. I got a sandwich. <laughs> I got the yeah, bagel store. Bagel store. Who knows what's next? You gotta get with Duncan or somebody to get some coffee over here. Yeah, that's just true. Yeah, but they're not as uh, generous. Fair. Yeah, you gotta pay for everything. <laughs> so, where's your favorite restaurant? I think I know. Mine. Well, you were talking about Prime, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so Hendrix Tavern. Oh. In Roslyn. Oh, okay. Kind of the same. We I love that place. Mm -hmm. We usually go there, like if it's an anniversary or a birthday or. Wow. Yeah, I love that place. 
It's nice wow. to have the place that's your spot. Yeah. And that they know you. Mm -hmm. How are you? What did you do today? How's your mother? I love yes. that. I like, I like that I'm Italian. Yes. In case you didn't know. Oh, I did know, yes. <laughs> yes. So what, what about you? How do people reach you? They saw you and they're like, I want her on my next film. What do they do? Instagram, Facebook, Natasha Landau, L-A-N-D-O-W. You could reach me there. And she's fabulous and she shows up on time. Sometimes she's early. She even brings cookies. She's really good. My, really. my husband's sitting there watching saying she comes on time. Yes, you do. <laughs> you do. Profe beautiful. Professionally, I do. Yes. When, I, when I'm going out with him and I have to get ready for a long time, it might be a different story. And she shares. <laughs> That's the biggest compliment you could give a woman when they share. You know what I mean? Like just share things so that put four women together and a man in a room that share. Shit happens. You know what I mean, right? I don't, well, I don't mean neither way. <laughs> TJ learned a lot about women during this one show. TJ will never be the same. This has been a very formative did you guys, experience. Did you guys finish your drinks? No. No, come on, have that last drink. Right, Angela, right, no, you right, too. Right. You're a woman's woman. I, Valentina, you know, we, we talked about all of us. What about you? Tell us a little bit about these books. I only knew the one book. I don't oh, know about okay. your other book. Well, let's see. We have four minutes left. Yeah. Well, this is the case he wants to make a really short movie, okay? In, In Love, Love and Friendship. Friendship is all about myself and my best friend, who we've been friends since we're three years old. Wow. And this oh, beautiful nice. little red-headed girl who... Um, met with a almost drowned in a pool we were uh laid wow. off of course in a bar in poor uh -huh. and hanging out and in walked the grandmother crying about her little red-headed gorgeous little granddaughter who drowned almost drowned and we were drinking so we were a little happy and i said to the grandmother all right well where does she live and she said uh, two blocks away i'm like well let's go and the rest is history and that's the story she's still alive Oh, wow. She needed hyperbarics to survive. She's now 20 something years old, still alive, but still struggling. But it was an amazing part of my life. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize wow. that. We had wow. a few fundraisers for her, and I taught <clears throat> the family a lot. My best friend did too. But in the end, we had to move away because we were too attached. And the last thing we did was a big garage sale, and the people were dumping everything in my yard, and my husband almost killed me. I mean, we're talking everything. When people think they're going to help a kid, they'll give you, they gave us Playboy magazines. And my kids were little. You know, the, and they're like, Grandma, Ma, you know, what is this stuff? You know, But it's a great story. I'll give it to you. Oh, I thought I gave it to you. I don't know. Did, I'll take it now. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, and then From Fire to Freedom is my life after losing a media job, which I loved. My boss was like my brother. But I have a lot of brothers. When I work, I get very attached to the company and the people. And it, somehow it's always oh, Italians. I don't know why. But, and uh, when I lost that job on Thanksgiving Eve, after being there for a very long time, I lost it to, because of finding monies that were being spent irrationally. And uh, he told me to save money. I did. And boom, I went instead of the one that was spending the money. But it's all history, and I'm and fine. And I learned amazing. everything from him. Even though he was tough, mm -hmm. I would never be doing everything I'm doing had not worked for that man. Mm -hmm. So it was a, opened up a whole new chapter for you. It yes. did, and on that note, guys, this has been great. Anybody that wants the book, just go to my website. It's on fam Amazon. From Fire to Freedom. It's a great title. I had a lot of fun doing it, and I think it's time. All right. Do you know what you do with these? Do you know what to do with these balls? What do you do with these balls, Valentina? What well, do you do with these well, balls? Well, first of all, <laughs> you do this. Come on. It's stress-free. Okay. And then, stress -free. First, really stress you squeeze really, them. Sure. First, you just squeeze them. Like, do I need to teach you? <laughs> oh, my it was, goodness. I think you guys this are is... squeezing them too hard. <laughs> funny show <laughs> it really really was okay ready? you guys are great oh, great thank you guests. for having Love thank, thank you, for you. Having don't us. forget thank about you this so group much. really and on that note it's a wrap do it <laughs>